anniversary last week of UFC 230, one of the all-time great heavyweight title fights, you versus Derek Lewis at Madison Square Garden. I mean, an instant classic. This was the greatest performance. (laughs) (laughs) How many minutes did you train for that fight, do you think? Like, how many minutes? My shorts? Let me tell you something. The, the, The Derek Lewis fight was the first time that my shorts had to be 2X. (laughs) <laughs> I never had two X fight. I never had two X fight shorts. They've always been extra large. Two, uh, I was like, I had to get two X because they were squeezing my leg so much. I was like, there's no way that I could fight with my my leg being squeezed so much on the thighs. They called me three weeks before. Hey, DC, this is Mick Maynard. DC, you think you're from Texas? DC, you think you fight Derek Lewis? I mean, his balls is hot. Is uh. <laughs> <laughs> You think you want to fight Derrick Lewis? His balls is hot. I was like, wait, what? He was like, yeah, man. He just knocked out Volkov. I was like, Derrick, you sure you ain't going to try to give me Stipe? He don't like got to give me no over yeah. No audibles. No audibles. I'm like, hey, no audibles. Switch a route. You promise, you promise it's Derrick because I don't want the fight contract to come and it'd be, okay, okay, yes, it will be Derrick. I said, okay, how much money? They're like, this much? I was like, okay, I'll be there. Three weeks. Three weeks. I, I remember. Called you your, your hand Tiago. was messed up. I said, Tiago, could you come? He goes, Wendy. I said, tomorrow, send me flight, please, bro. <laughs> broken hand? Hey, yeah. broken hand. Had to get, like, I had not broken, but I had, like, bad wrist. Cortisone shot. Boop, boop, boop. Show up at MSG. Hey, I look, got to headline the garden. I For a week, I was the king of New York. I was you king were. of New York for a week. It was the best. Uh, the first time and until now, the only time that the heavyweight title in the UFC has been defended at Madison Square Garden, which is a big deal considering the boxing heavyweight title fights that have happened there. But what about that morning? Earlier that morning, you just glossed over this when old man DC sneezes. <laughs> that's when, his, how bad was that sneeze? That's when I realized the clock was ticking. That's when I realized that the clock was ticking. I'm, I get up to run and, and, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like feeling good because you play tricks on yourself in the morning. I feel so great. My back's not bothering me because remember, Three week training camp, a little bit heavy. I weighed in like 250 some pounds for the first time in my career. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I feel great. I go to the bathroom, sneeze, choo. Go for my morning run. I'm like, Bob, I can't do this. Thank goodness for Heather Linden. She massaged me uh, and everything else for two and a half hours in the middle of the day and then told me lay on a, a, a hot pack. What are those things called? The heating pack? The little heating yeah, pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I laid on top of that heating pad for two hours. After all that massage, and eventually I got up and I was like, wow, I can I can fight. I almost I almost lost the heavyweight championship without actually fighting. So it was Were you close to pulling out. Bob was like, if this th- if this doesn't clear up, I can hey, hey, I know I said, Bob, chill. If this doesn't clear up by three o'clock, then we're done. You're not fighting. I'm like, Bob, I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Bob gets right. I love this your doesn't clear up by three o'clock. And you're, you're done. I'm like, Bob, two fifty nine. I'm like, Bob, I feel great. Like, Are you? I'm like, I'm good, Bob. I'm good. Yeah, he was, he was tripping, man. It was it was crazy though, man, because you just never know what, what what's gonna happen. But wow, and I mean, I fought. Hey, I fought valiantly. I had to dig. I had to dig deep. I had to dig deep in that night, Ariel. I got punched one time by Derek. Khabib actually sent me a message the other day. He showed me taking Derek down, and he goes, "Brother, you remember this guy punched your eye right here when I, Derek was falling, and he punched my eye like this." He goes, "He punched your eye, brother." I said, "I know," and I had a black eye from one punch. That's how hard Derek Lewis hit. He punched me going down as he was getting taken down, and it literally made my eye just swell wow. up the next day. I love. Powerful. The build up to that fight was great. It was, you know, the Popeye stuff and he gets the sponsorship and, and and he felt like you were disrespect. It was such a bizarre fight, but they made it happen. It was a I fun ended fight. up getting I remember I ended up getting the Carl's Jr. sponsorship. You did, yeah, yeah, that's right. Was, like, <laughs> we had a we had a rivalry built on fast food. It was getting no better. We had a rivalry built on fast food. Because Derek actually says things like my balls are hot and yeah. then I said, Derek, why you want to fight me? He disrespecting the Popeye chicken. It yeah. is deep southern draw, you know. Like, come on, Derek's a man. But uh, listen, hey, hey, Derek can wrestle now. Thank God I didn't fight him back then because now you can't even hold Derek down when you take him down. Well, we'll find out on November twenty eighth when he fights Curtis Blades. 